All systems go for launch. Main engine start. Solid boosters ignition and lift off. We have a successful lift off for A3 launch vehicle test flight with 803 from JAXA Tanegashima Space Center at 10.37.55 seconds a.m. on March 7, 2023, Japan Standard Time. 打ち上げ以降、ロケットの完成は滝崎発射完成塔から滝崎総合司令塔に引き継がれています。The operation control of A3 has been switched from launch control center to range control center. 打ち上げ、ロケットは現在東南東方向の太平洋上へ飛行しています。a3 is flying over Pacific Ocean to the east-southeast. It's one minute into flight. The A3 flight is on course and the ground stations are tracking the launch vehicle and all is good. 八十六、八十九、九十七、九十八、九十九、九十七、九十八、九十九、百一、百三、百六、百七、SRB3燃焼終了。十三、十五。The combustion of the first stage engine, altitude control, and trajectory are all nominal. Rocket is slowly flying forward. The current speed is about 84 km. The speed is about 1.6 km. The A3 flight is on course. Current altitude is about 84 km. Velocity is about 1.6 km per second. So we have been able to see a successful launch um, of um, the H3 uh, launch vehicle thus far. And what um, you are seeing right now is the based on the uh, information that we have received from our launch vehicle uh, replicated in CG uh, almost real time. And so the flight indicator. Uh, the, uh, for public, uh, which uh, we call the, the FIP. And it's looking at the direction that the launch vehicle is traveling at and also showing the height. And uh, it is indicated as a line. And uh, the data obtained from, from the launch vehicle is actually uh, reflected into uh, this. So it's showing the, the trajectory of uh, the uh, launch vehicle. So the satellite fairing uh, separation has been confirmed. And what you can see, um, is um, on the screen is X plus, which is um, the time elapsed from the launch. The A3 flight is on course. Current altitude is about 175 kilometers. Velocity is about 2.4 kilometers per second. And towards the uh, top left, you can see uh, the altitude and the, the velocity. So we're traveling at more than 200 kilometers above underground. And on the left is um, the, uh, the speed per, uh, per hour. Um, so what that's a, uh, 
So it was uh, accelerated to 28,900 kilometers an hour eventually. And so uh, we are almost at, um, at the, the completion of ignition of first stage engine now. First stage engines cut off. First and second stage separation. And so the, this uh, second stage engine uh, should um, ignition, but we have not heard the, the ignition start announcement as yet. But um, at ignition, at um, uh, 16 minutes 36 seconds, it will continue to um, uh, ignite uh, to take the satellite into the orbit. So um, we have seen the launch of um, the uh, H3 uh, launch vehicle, uh, test flight number one. So that in itself has, um, I suppose, um, a, uh, made me feel reassured. So we can no longer see it in the sky. So because of the fine weather that we were able to see it, um, uh, quite um, high into the sky, we were able to see the um, F uh, uh, B3 separation. But um, the, rock, the launch vehicle is a, a delivery service, so we must um, uh, separate uh, the, the satellite. Otherwise, we will not be able to call, uh, call the entire mission a success. So at this point in time, we still cannot um, um, be reassured as yet. And uh, the people in RCC is um, uh, keeping a close watch on the, the launch vehicle uh, flight. Um, as uh, we discussed um, at the RCC, um, the uh, at the tracking stations, um, it's actually uh, tracking uh, the uh, launch vehicle, obtaining uh, data from it, and obtaining uh, locational uh, information um, uh, to confirm the current uh, position of the trajectory. So let's um, uh, confirm the, the trajectory, as I was explained. And this is um, reflecting uh, the current um, the flight uh, data reflected uh, in CG uh, almost uh, on a real-time basis. And uh, what will occur after this is that if um, the second stage is ignited well, then it will be um, separation of the satellite. So until 16 minutes past uh, the liftoff, we will deliver the satellite uh, to the, uh, the delivery point. So the, the elevation is about 540 kilometers right now. And uh, the target um, uh, elevation is uh, 675 kilometers. And so it seems that it is traveling at the, the, the needed um, uh, the. Uh, the height, but looks like um, the velocity is coming down. It's um, coming down less than uh, 10,000 um, the kilometers an hour. I don't know whether this data is correct or not, but it seems that the, the velocity is coming down, and that is what we are able to confirm on the FIB. But um, is this the actual data, or is it um, based on the, the system? We need to check. This is an announcement from the Takesaki Range Control Center to all launch operators and personnel. The second stage engine ignition has not been confirmed yet. We continue to confirm the situation. The second stage engine ignition has not been confirmed yet. We continue to confirm the situation. So we have not been able to confirm the ignition of uh, the second, sta second stage engine. Well, on this um, uh, FIP or on this CG, um, the, the signal for ignition of stage two has not come in, and so um, the, uh, the elevation is at 625 kilometers, but the velocity is coming down. But is this the actual uh, situation? We would like to await uh, for um, updated information. We are confirming the situation right now, and so if you could bear with us. As soon as we receive updated information, uh, we will convey that to you.
As was just announced, rocket had, could not uh, uh, complete its mission, so destruct command was sent. Uh, it was uh, decided that the rocket could not complete its mission, so destruct command was sent. Destruct command. If we send the signal, and uh, there uh, is this device uh, that is uh, activated to destruct the rocket, and then it will not fly any further and it will uh, come back down to Earth. So we were watching in the CG. Uh, the first uh, stage uh, combustion uh, was completed, and we could see that the command was sent to separate the first and second stage. Uh, f five minutes, 27 seconds. Uh, the second uh, en stage engine was started to ignite, but in the CG, that signal was not uh, received. We were not able to confirm that. So what happened there, something that uh, uh, we have to investigate, looking at all the data. So during this broadcast, uh, it will probably be difficult to explain uh, in detail all the phenomena. So uh, please, uh, what we'd like to uh, communicate to you through the website or through other media. So we cannot expect more news to come in. And so we would like to uh, conclude the live broadcast for the H3 uh, first a test flight. Very regrettable this happened. It's a, a test vehicle, so there were various challenges. And there were some uh, risks, of course, because it was uh, newly developed. So going forward, uh, we're going to investigate the cause. Yes, we need to identify the cause uh, and then uh, reflect it uh, in the next uh, test uh, vehicle. That would be our mission. So as for the detailed information, please uh, visit the JAXA website. Uh, information will be provided there. Thank you for watching the live broadcast. Thank you very much.